Hey guys, welcome back to another exciting episode of Blazing Beards. And yes guys, as you can see, my beard's not quite as blazing as it was on my last video. I actually went out and I got a beard trim. And what I'm going to talk about today is my experience getting a beard trim and what you can expect and what you should do. So, I had been growing my beard for, as you know, 15 months. So I went 15 months, no trimming. The only thing I trimmed were the cheek lines and everything else I just let grow. Um, it was starting to become um, a lot of work to take care of that beard. It was uh, probably five to six inches longer than it is now. It used to come down a little bit past this third button on my shirt. And um, so I took off about probably five inches, good five inches. Um, and I took off a little more on the sides uh, than I did. And I also had them uh, kind of trim it down on the sides, you know, because it, it kind of poofed out quite a bit. So I had them like kind of shave down the sides a little bit and then round the bottom. And overall, I think he did a pretty good job. So I'm pleased with the result. I still think it's a pretty blazing beard. Um, I'm going to continue to, you know, let it grow out a little more. Probably keep it about this size. Maybe, um, you know, get it shaped every month, every two months, something like that. So um, that's my plan. So what was my experience going to the barber? Well, the first thing was it was really difficult to find somebody to trust cutting my beard. I didn't trust myself, you know, I trimmed my own mustache in an earlier video, and that was pretty easy. But the beard, um, that seemed pretty hard. You know, I, I kind of looked in the mirror in the bathroom, and I looked at, you know, how am I going to get the sides cut in nice, you know, without, you know, twisting and everything else, and I, I just didn't feel comfortable doing it. So I decided I had to find a barber. So the first thing I did, of course, is I Googled barbers near me. Uh, went through a lot of different websites, looking for barbers that had beard trims on their menus, um, then looking at reviews, and you know, that wasn't really useful. I mean, it did show me where different barber shops were in the area, uh, but the reviews, it seemed that most people that actually go on to these sites and write reviews are either, I don't know, it's either a super glowing review, like it was by a family member, or it's, um, was super negative reviews. So I, I didn't feel I could trust the reviews. So my next step was is I, I looked for, you know, in the photos, you know, that, you know, a lot of them had galleries and they would show guys with beards and getting their beards trimmed. So I looked for barbers with beards, number one, and number two, you know, a gallery on their site that showed them actually trimming beards. And then I narrowed it down from that to a list of like three barber shops in my area that I, I would want to go and check out. And that's what I did. And this is what I recommend you guys do if you're planning on getting your beard trimmed by a barber is, you know, just don't pick one out off of the, their web page or, you know, by Googling it. Um, you know, one good way to do it, which would be good, and I didn't do this, would be ask someone who has a beard who has it nicely trimmed that you would like to, uh, you know, go to their barber. I didn't do that. Um, it probably would be a good idea, but I didn't know anybody at the time that had a beard that was nearly as big as mine that was going to get it trimmed. So, anyway, what I did is I went and I visited the barber shops, and I recommend that you guys do that as well. And I went during the peak times, so I went when it was full. You know, I wasn't going there to, you know, be in a rush to get in and get out. I went there so that I could find out who could actually do the best beard trims. So I went to three different barber shops. I went at their peak times on three different days, and I sat there, you know, I was like number 10 in line at each of these, because like I said, it was during their peak times, it's about lunchtime, and I just watched what they did. Uh, first of all, did the barbers have beards? Were they all doing beard trims? Um, you know, how many beard trims were being done? You know, the first barber shop I went to, I think I sat there for, you know, probably a good 45 minutes to an hour, and I didn't see any beard trims being done. So I kind of scratched that one off my list, even though some of the barbers had beards and they had beard trims on the menus, um, you know, they weren't doing a lot of them. Um, the second barber shop I went to, which is the one I actually ended up getting my beard trimmed at, when I went into the shop, you know, all the guys had, you know, all the barbers had beards. They seemed to be a bit younger, um, but not so young that they'd be inexperienced. And there were a lot of guys with beards in the barber shop and they were getting beard trims and I was actually able to watch in the first hour I was there they had six barbers and I think four of them had guys with beards in, the, in their chairs and they were giving beard trims so I just watched and saw how the beard trims were coming out you know 
how high were they trimming the cheek lines? Were they doing the neck lines correctly? Or were they taking it way up, you know, into these chin strap type beards? I saw one barber, he was trimming the guy's beard and he was cutting, you know, like, uh, in my opinion, too high up on the, on the chin line. And, you know, so I made sure that I didn't get that barber. Um, but I waited there and I watched and then I went to another barber shop and I, I kind of did the same thing. And again, I was there for about an hour and when I was there, um, I saw maybe one guy get a beard trim, and he had kind of a stubble beard. He didn't have like a big full beard being trimmed, so I didn't feel comfortable there either. But I think it was a great way for me to check out the different places. It takes a little bit of time and a little investment, but you know, your beard is important. It's on your face. People are going to be looking at it. And you know, I put a lot of time and investment into my beard, and I wanted somebody who knew what they were doing. So anyway, the next day I went back to that second barber shop that I went to, and I told him what barber I wanted, and he told me what time he would be available, you know, to, to do it because it was the, this barber shop was pretty full. Uh, so I ended up going back about three o'clock that day, and I allowed him to trim my beard, and I was very specific on what I wanted. I told him I wanted about four to five inches taken off the front. I wanted it to be rounded. Um, I wanted it to look neat. Um, I wanted it a little higher on the sides coming down like this, and I showed him about you know about where I wanted it. And, uh, you know, he did exactly what I asked him to do. Um, now, he did trim the cheek lines. And right now, I don't know if you can see it on the video, I'm letting them grow back in a little bit. I haven't, uh, it was about uh, a week ago that I got it trimmed. And, you know, I thought, you know, he took the straight razor and he kind of made really sharp lines there, which I'm not a big fan of super sharp lines. But, um, you know, that's that's how he did it, you know, just to clean up the cheek lines. And I figured, hey, why not? And, um you know, I think it, he took it down just a little too low. I like it a little bit higher than where he took it. Um, but, you know, it grows back. So it's already growing back, and probably by next week I'll have, well, uh, maybe two more weeks, I'll have my cheek lines lined up back where I like them to be. So from that standpoint, I think it's uh, it was a pretty good job. So um, I was happy. I will go back to them again to do it. I will ask for the same guy. He did a great job. Uh, it wasn't that expensive. Um, I got the, my hair cut at the same time, and uh, you know, so I think the total bill was 35 bucks for the haircut and the beard trim. Uh, beard trim by itself, I think, would be 25 bucks, but if you combined it with a haircut, it was 35 bucks. So I think the regular haircut was uh, 20 bucks. So <clears throat> anyway, decent prices. They did a decent job. Uh, the other thing I watched for when I was watching them was were they taking their time, you know, they were full barbershops, were they trying to rush people in and out, and these guys took their time, you know, they didn't rush rush me in and out of the chair, you know, he cut it once, and then I said, ah, I want it a little shorter than that, so he, he went back and he cut it again, and he got it to the length that I wanted, so you want a barber who's going to listen to you, and who's going, who's not going to be trying to rush you out of the chair, give you your cut, and say, okay, you're done. Um, you know, he kind of cut mine. He was like, is that where you want it? And I said, no, take it up about another half an inch. And he did it, and, you know, no complaints. And then <clears throat> he, um, you know, I was looking at it, and after he cut it, he'd only basically cut the sides and the bottom. But I was saying, you know, now it's kind of looking, like, really round. <clears throat> so I asked him, you know, kind of shave off the shave down the sides, make it even on the sides. He had no problem doing that. He did it. He did a good job. And overall, I'm very happy with the beard trim. So if you guys are going to go to go get yourself a beard trim, I would recommend go visit the barbers first. Visit them at peak hours. Um, you know, spend the time to watch what they're doing. Uh, make sure it's good because once you find a good barber, then you know you're good for your next beard trim. So um, that's uh, that's the method I used, and I, I think it turned out pretty good. Um, do I miss my big beard? I do kind of miss some things with it. I do miss you know being able to you know kind of stroke it, um, it's no longer there. It, one thing that's nice is I put on my shirt now and I don't have to untuck my beard. It's just automatically untucked. And actually putting on the shirt, it pulls it down and kind of puts it into shape. So I think that's kind of, that's kind of cool. Um, much easier to wash, much easier to take care of. Um, yeah, I do miss the big beard though, but uh, I, I was getting tired of getting a cotton things, rolling over on it when I was sleeping. And just all the time it took me in the morning to, you know, comb out all the snarls and knots. And, um, you know, so anyway, that was my experience uh, getting my beard trimmed. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you learned something. And uh, until next time, guys, grow yourself a blazing beard.
See ya.